Hey, Stephen Christopher here. I uh, just wanted to report a few things here from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, it is July the 21st, 2012. And I just wanted to say a few things here to start off. Um, I know some of you may not know direction or what the things are and stuff. And maybe I don't either, but I believe that Jesus Christ is the way and the truth. And I will stand upon that. And uh, I hope not to turn you off on that, but uh, I just want to let you know that uh, Jesus Christ is the way and the truth. Um, now, let me get into a few things here. I think that we are on the verge of a great many things. It's going to be a mess and, might I say, disastrous. And I'm sorry for that. I wish I could control it and make it better. But the best that I can do at this point in time is to warn you. Now, before I get into uh, what I wanted to uh, discuss in this video, I want to give a shout out to my friends out there on YouTube. Um, first of all, Manny, I want to say you're the man. <laughs> I really like what you do and uh, really appreciate it. And then there's uh, Scuminati Disclosure. Take Plains 1. I really appreciate what you do as well. You're very good. And uh, then there's SMI Mushroomery. want to thank you so much. Many of the videos that you disclose are very good. You're in Colorado. I appreciate where you're at. I'll try to get this butterfly real quick. Oh, I think I missed it, but there was a butterfly. It was a very pretty one. But SMI Mushroomery, you're the man too. Arabiata Clara, uh, Nine Sprechensti Deutsch, but very much appreciation to you as well. I think half of my blood is German, so want to say all to my German listeners, I appreciate what you do. And then there's Wehrmacht. I, I can't really uh, say your name, but Wehrmacht. I really like uh, what you do as well. Thank you. What we have to do is search for the truth, though. And that's what I want to tell you guys, is that uh, given the final day of my existence, I will testify for all of you that seek the truth and tell the truth because that's what's most important to me with these whore media operators that try to form their own reality and it really pisses me off because their reality is not reality. It's what they want to form that they're trying to project and because they have the gold they think they can project what they want. And let me get into a few things here. I'm not anti-Semitic but let's say a few things. There are a group of Khazarian Jews. They're not really Jews. They say they're Jews, but they're not. They're the false Jews proclaimed in Revelations. They, they say they're Jews, but they're of their father, Satan. They're running stuff in the world right now. And what they're going to do is they're going to try and they're going to succeed on many levels. 
of exterminating us as the human race. And, and this is what I want to say. For all those people that fear Nibiru or Planet X or, you know, the, the Dark Star, the Dwarf Star, I want to say embrace it because that's going to be our vengeance, in my opinion. This star may come upon Earth and bring many of the plagues upon the people that cause our death. And I want to say, embrace it. Embrace Planet X because these people are going to deserve what they get. Now, I want to go into the London Olympics. Um, will it be a false flag? Will it be a real deal? I mean, what's it going to be? I think it will be. At the first, the 28th of July is a Jewish day of uh, despair because the temples got destroyed twice on that date in the uh, Jewish calendar and uh, I don't know maybe they'll try something on that date but the more likely thing my gut feeling thinks it will be that Saturday, which is coming up real close, but the other thing is the book candle ceremony, and I want to give a shout out to David Icke. Um, I don't care, you know, if people say, well, he's not a Christian, blah, blah, blah. Well, I will testify for those that tell the truth on the day of reckoning, shall it be because I admire people that try to tell the truth. Now, apparently there's a book candle ceremony that the Catholics perform. It's actually like a witchcraft type of deal. And I also want to give a shout out to Red Ice Radio because Red Ice Radio um, showed the Rick Clay stuff and it also, uh, and Rick Clay also was one of the pioneers, if not the pioneer, about the London Olympics. And uh, just to let you know, for a point of reference, I'm pointing towards the north east at this point in time. But Rick Clay showed us things that might happen. But Will it be a false flag? Will it be Project Blue Beam in all its glory, you know, showing holograms of UFOs? I actually think that's what it's going to be. They're going to show holograms. But then there's this story that uh, the, the old Project Paperclip, German, Deutsch, have uh, technology anti-gravity technology that will be able to uh, come back and show UFOs and uh, I think that will occur so what I think will occur is there will be like a project blue beam holographic uh, images as well as uh, the old Deutsch German technology showing real anti-gravity flying saucers in the sky during the Olympics but they can't resist they, they plattered it they, they splattered it they, they smeared it in their faces they're gonna do it I don't care they're gonna do it they're going to smear it in our faces even more It's lesser magic, that's what they say. If they warn us, it's okay. I don't agree. I really don't. 
but that's what's going to occur because that's what these 13 bloodlines uh, again you know there's these bloodlines on the planet Fritz Springsmeyer Fritz Springmeyer has uh, written a book I haven't read it yet um, I don't have the money to afford it but if I did I would like to read it but um, apparently Fritz Springmeyer has exposed these 13 Illuminati bloodlines that call the shots on the planet. Well the sad thing for them is that may they call the shots on the planet they don't call the shots in the universe and uh, they will suffer a very harsh reckoning um, but anyway I wanted to get into something else um, I've noticed towards the east the Sun has been rising pretty much in the southeast which is right over there but when it sets it sets further into the north or the northeast and uh, I grew up for a long time here around Oklahoma City Oklahoma I would say I've been here for at least 34 35 years out of my 39 years of life and uh, most of the time the Sun would set here which would be pretty much directly west but the Sun is starting or it actually has been setting a long time probably two maybe three years maybe longer in the north west so I believe a passage in the Bible says the uh, earth will reel to and fro like a drunkard. I think the earth is pretty drunk right now. And maybe I should get drunk too, eh? But, you know, this is north and this is east. See that tree there? Sorry about that. And this is south. and this is west now I want to tell you guys that there are people out there that are trying to protect the people that are causing the destruction of our environment and in fact our lives is there anything we can do about it? I don't know. But I'm fairly sure. I, I am eminently sure that there are Wahhabis. Look up the term. It's W A H A B B I S. And crypto Jews they're not really Jews they are crypto Jews they think that they have eminent domain on this planet and that the rest of us are just useless eaters maybe I'm a useless eater and if so kill me right now but these people that think that are an imminent threat and they need to be eliminated and uh, in the past I think maybe some people have tried to do that but they have tried to use too much of a broad spectrum a surgical strike needs to be done but can that be done I don't think so so just in my opinion prepare Now I hope nothing happens in the Olympics. I hope David Icke and I 
and many others are wrong. But I think they're going to pull something off. And maybe multiple things off. We have this carrier called the USS Enterprise that might as well, as in David Icke's words, have a target on its back. I wish they would decommission that ship right now because I'm sure there are many assets, in my opinion, the human lives are my most coveted assets on that ship. Those assets should be protected. But what they're going to do, this Olympics, in my opinion, is going to be very severe. And I want to tell you guys, please keep an objective eye and keep a predictive eye as well as keep a scrutinizing eye because they are going to do something very horrible. There's an Illuminati card deck by Steve Jackson that was published in the 90s. I think it was 1996, maybe 1995, maybe 1994, probably 1996. But Steve Jackson published an Illuminati card deck that pretty much pretells what they are planning. And they call it lesser magic. What they do is they try to give a reverse satanic signature on what they're going to do. As well as try to use the law of attraction and they're very successful in doing that to get their events to go. And if you haven't read about the law of attraction watch the movie The Secret. Read the book The Secret. It's black magic. You just focus on something or get a group of people to focus on something and magically it appears. I've got a chem trailer. Can I focus on it though? We've got these birds, which I think are not really birds. And they always fly towards the sun. They worship the sun. things are coming. They're going to be here. Now how will you deal with it? I would say seek out Jesus Christ. Ask him to come into your heart. That is going to be your own. That's going to be your only uh, refuge. Now I don't want to preach to you guys. I mean, actually I do, but I don't want to turn you off and make you think that I'm just some religious zealot that wants to force you to believe what I believe in. Because I encourage independent thought. I want you to think independently. There are many truths that you can find independently. And that 
is one of the main focuses that I want you to focus on. Seek the truth and you shall find it. Seek the truth and you shall find it. Seek the truth and you shall find it. Nine Sprechens die Deutsch. I love you Germans out there. Rabiatha Clara. Man, your videos makes me want to go there. Very gorgeous land over there. I want to tell you here in Oklahoma City, it's very hot. 102 to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know about doing conversions for you, but uh, I think it's uh, 9 fifths C plus 32 degrees equals Fahrenheit, but um, you can reverse that equation, but it's hot here. Most of the time we just have blue skies, a few cumulus clouds. It's hot, <laughs> but uh, that's Oklahoma for you in July. And uh, regardless of what you guys believe in, I just want to tell you all I love you. This is our uh, pit bull. She's our pit bull. I think she's half boxer, but my wife says she's all pit bull. Her name's Sandy. But she's a good dog. But uh, they're going to bring in their false gods. There's nothing we can do about that. They're going to bring in their false Apollo and their false Mercury. In my opinion, they're going to bring Bin Laden back to life. In that video, One Pet Goat 2, they show him with black angel wings. I think that symbolizes that that character is uh, Mercury or the false messenger, false prophet, and uh, in my opinion, the false uh, false uh, god is Apollo, and that person actually has 18 letters in his name. And if you look it up, Hussein means gentleman or uh, pretty or handsome, and the first word Barak means lightning. So look it up for yourselves. Do a little discovery. Have fun. Got these uh, watcher birds everywhere, but love you guys. Take care. It's going to be a pretty interesting, if not bad year. But uh, take refuge through Jesus Christ, is my opinion and uh, my truth and our truth I believe love you guys Steve and Christopher Oklahoma City bye